quite a few years back uh, through my travels, which usually I travel to talk about peace to people who are interested, I came across this one area in India, Ranchi particularly, and I looked around and people were extremely poor. And the question I asked was, what can we do for these people? How can we help them? So, of course, there was a lot of ideas, and at that time I was talking to this person and he was telling me how desperate the situation is for these people who are actually the natives in that region, and the whole area has been allocated to them. And I was like, well, you know, there's something we should be able to do to help them. 2001, the Prem Rawat Foundation was created. My name is Prem Rawat, and I'm the founder of TPRF, the Prem Rawat Foundation. Once we had decided that the best way to help these people would be to provide them with good, clean food, because there was a myriad of problems that were being experienced by the locals. Poor health, they did not have enough food so they couldn't go on with their schooling. And so the, the, it was a mess, um, you know, and just for one reason, and the reason was that they couldn't get food. Uh, crime rate was very high. People were stealing from each other. The uh, people who were elderly, uh, again, did not have good, clean food, good, clean water. So their health would suffer. Children would miss school. And very few would actually move on to go through all their uh, schooling. So. Instead of trying to create programs for all the different things that were the problems, we just took one. And I want to talk to you about this because it has had a profound impact, not only in Ranchi, but in Dhading, and not only in Dhading, but in Ghana as well. With the help of the volunteers and people like you, it has been made possible that these people finally are receiving the kind of help that is making a difference. Now, the foundation was made in 2001, so it's been running for over a decade. And just to talk a little bit, because I'm not here to ask you for more money or this, but I want to share the good news with you, and that is the reason why I'm talking to you today. And the news is that there has been a profound difference on all levels in these communities. Not only the children are doing better in school, they're staying in school, they're receiving proper education, graduating and moving on to careers. At least they can choose careers because they are getting the schooling that they need. But there has been an amazing rippling effect throughout the community. Just because they could get good, clean food, and good, clean water. And not only that, we made sure that they could be taught simple hygienic practices to wash your hands before you eat, to wash your hands after you eat. And all of these things have dramatically dropped the rate of people falling sick, just from little things. And then, there's the good news. I didn't expect this, but the next thing you know, the crime rate is also going down. That people are getting along better with each other because they, they are not stressed out. They're not in this thing of where am I going to find my next meal? So one project, and I can say one little project has made a huge impact in the community. And this is what I envisioned that we could do, that we could bring people with dignity, without a hidden agenda, without a hidden agenda. You know, because there are a lot of people who have a hidden agenda, and I didn't want that. I didn't want anybody to convert to anything. I wanted people to receive the food not as a handout, 
but with dignity. And one of the things I talk about a lot is how this foundation is really there to make sure that things happen with dignity, that people experience peace, that people experience prosperity in their lives. These things are not unrelated to the fundamentals of a human being. We need dignity. Whether you say that somebody has to respect us or just merely give us a little bit of elbow room so we can believe in what we want to believe in. We can focus in our lives, achieve the objectives that we want for ourselves. And you'll be surprised, not for everyone, that they are sky-high objectives. They're simple objectives. People want to be happy. People want to prosper. And this is the kind of help that we have been bringing to the communities. Now, certainly not enough. And I was just uh, recently in Ghana, and we were doing the uh, visiting the Food for People uh, facility in Ghana, which, I mean, you look at it, and it is just amazing to see all the kids who are benefiting from it. And where at one point they had dwindled down to almost nothing. Now they're thriving. And that's what's important, that a little bit of help can bring that to people of these simple little communities. They don't have big ambitions. They don't have big dreams. Their dreams are simple and they can be fulfilled. They want peace in their lives. They want to be. They want to feel that they have dignity in their lives. And of course, they want to prosper in their lives. And so it is such good news that these are the projects that have been successful, continue to be successful, and keep on bringing a beautiful, beautiful environment. When you look at it, you know, I mean, we spend so much money in other countries for law enforcement, which is necessary, for prison systems, for this and that. And here, all we did was provided a little bit of clean, local food. I mean, food that they could eat, you know, and that's important. We could have provided them with stuff that they're not familiar with. They can't eat that. And so, in the same token, when they were getting this help, and as little as it is, even the crime rate started going down. And I would have never imagined that something like that would happen, but it did. And so it's, you know, so good, so good to see this in person, to see the change. I mean, I know a lot of you don't know where Dhading is, but it's a little place in Nepal, and it takes a quite a while to get there especially if you're driving from Kathmandu. But there's this little village, and in this middle of this little village, there's a little heaven. And people come, little kids come. They, they, they go from long distances to be able to get that food that can nourish them, that can bring them to the point where they can continue with what they want to do. So. I certainly want to thank all those volunteers who have been helping with these projects. And I also want to thank all of you who have been helping with these projects and making this a reality. I know I'm the founder of TPRF, but in a way, all of you are founders of this wonderful little organization that has been and is trying to help people not create bureaucracies, not create huge administration, but really focus on what is going to help the communities. And I am so excited that I'm looking forward to 2013, 2014, and of course, many, many more years after that, that TPRF will be continue to bring this beautiful help, dignity, peace, and prosperity to many, many more communities around the world. So thank you so much for your support and your help.